covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Last night, uh, certainly the uh, worst day in the history of the Fayetteville Police Department. Evidence shows that Officer Carr was ambushed and executed while he was sitting in his patrol vehicle. A community in mourning after a Fayetteville police officer shot and killed inside his patrol car. Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today. Police say 27-year-old officer Stephen Carr was shot one time in the head at point-blank range. The Fayetteville police chief calling it an ambush. It happened behind the Fayetteville Police Department on Rock Street over the weekend. It's just feet away from the busy downtown square. In a news conference earlier today, the chief calling it the worst day in the history of the police department. We've lost one of our own. An overwhelming day for the Fayetteville Police Department. 27-year-old patrol officer Stephen Carr murdered by a gunman Saturday night as he waited for his partner at the station's parking lot to begin their shift. Evidence shows that Officer Carr was ambushed and executed. Police Chief Mike Reynolds described Officer Carr as a hero. He served the citizens of Fayetteville and our community with dedication and professionalism for two and a half years. Witnesses say they heard 15 to 20 shots ring out at 9.40 p.m. Officers inside the police department immediately responded and heard additional gunshots. Officer Natalie Yusey and Corporal Shea Floyd chased the suspect down an alley, shot him multiple times, and killed him. I've been placed on paid administrative leave in compliance with city and police department policy. The suspect is London Phillips. He was 35 and lived in Fayetteville. Right now, there is no known motive. All I know is that this was a cowardly act. Phillips had a couple run-ins with police, most notably in 2018 for impersonating a police officer. The suspect had a 9 millimeter Taurus and he had two boxes of ammunition. The Washington County Sheriff's Office leading the investigation with the help of the FBI. A search warrant was issued to search Phillips home and his car was towed for processing. And if it wasn't for the response of our officers that engaged and killed the suspect, yes, I do believe that he would have hurt more people, possibly more officers or possibly citizens within our community. And police cruisers lined the streets and highways in respect. Traffic halted so the procession could pass. So officer car's body currently going to the state crime lab undergoing an autopsy which should be over at one o'clock after the autopsy his body will be sent back to Fayetteville where he will be laid to rest a memorial next to the police station now honors the life of officer Carr with many people stopping to pay their respects throughout the day yesterday Officer Carr with the Fayetteville Police Department is the second police officer to be killed in the line of duty this year in Arkansas. Stone County Deputy Mike Stephen was shot and killed back in June after responding to a domestic disturbance. A total of 115 officers have died in the line of duty this year across the nation. The breaking news just coming into our newsroom. An Arkansas prison inmate has escaped from the Southwest Arkansas Community Correction Center. The Arkansas Department of Corrections activated an escape alert Monday morning for 37-year-old Charles Hosner. Hosner was serving time on a drug conviction. He's described as 5'8 and 170 pounds. If you see him, contact Texarkana Police. Two people have been injured in a shooting in Fort Smith Friday night. Officers say they were called to Spradling Park around 10 o'clock Friday. There they found two victims, an 18-year-old and a 19-year-old. According to witnesses, a gray Dodge Charger pulled up and opened fire on the victims. Both were taken to a local hospital. The 18-year-old remains in critical condition. If you have any information that would lead to an arrest, contact the Fort Smith Police Department. And the Jonesboro Police Department identifying a third suspect in the shooting death of Andrew Powell on December 1st. Police say Jacoby Jack Haggard is 5'10 with brown eyes and hair. He also has sleeve tattoos on both arms. Haggard is considered armed and extremely dangerous. If you see him, do not approach him. You're asked to contact Jonesboro Police. And the Jonesboro Police Officer sharing with the community this weekend. Kids got to shop with a cop at Academy Sports and other stores in Jonesboro. 50 kids went on a shopping spree with an assigned officer. They got Christmas gifts to put under the tree. One shopper bought snacks instead of a lot of toys, saying he wanted to stretch out his $100 limit. I didn't want to waste all my money. I was going to get a hoverboard, uh, a 
At the end, everyone celebrated with sweets at Gigi's Cupcakes. It was the police department versus fire department for the annual dodgeball for doggies event at the Fayetteville Athletic Club. The face-off between first responders is to raise money to support our local animal rescues. Take a look at these sweet faces. They were brought by local rescues in hopes of finding their forever home. Attendees were also asked to bring donations in the form of pet supplies. In your family so we kind of have these events where we can bring their families with them have a good time but we can also help support our community so it's a win-win for everybody after four years of dodgeball games this is the first time the Fayetteville Police Department has won